Hi, in this video uh, I will show you how you can create dialogues with AI voices and uh, also how you can create illustrations, images or video clips to support that dialogue. Quite often our users need that when they create um, video clips or uh, slideshow presentations. Okay, if on, on Cucarella, open a menu, go to Dialogues AI, and here you can see two options. Create project creates an empty project where you can enter text and write dialogue yourself. If you click on Use Assistant button, you will be able to create dialogue with the help of AI. Uh, here, if you have topic in mind for your dialogue, just enter your request here. If you want to create dialogue based on post article or web page, choose Upload Files option, upload um, any text file or even image with text. And in the prompt, write something like create dialogue between two people using attached document as a reference, something like that. There is another option, popular requests. Here you can see suggestions, which you can use um, to create a prompt. Suggestions organized by categories, like for educators, for businesses, training materials, demo videos, autoresponders for call centers, advertisements content creators and so on. Let's go with general and choose topic. Write a discussion between three experts about the future of, let's say, online education. Click send, and in a few seconds you will get dialogue between three people and Kuka Genie will also assign voices to each line. So when you check the text, you can decide if you want to edit the text or it is good as is. Um, you, um, yep, the text is done, written. You can read it and you can see that AI created three voices, three actors, and they were assigned to each line. You can click play. It will convert this dialogue to audio and we will listen it in a few seconds. If at, at any point you decide, okay, I like these two voices, but I want to replace this one, you can open this art this is actor and here you can choose voice which better meets your requirements okay so we will go with we'll go back to english as We won't be changing anything. Conversion has been completed. Let's play a few lines and listen. I've been closely following the trends in online education, and I must say the landscape is evolving at an unprecedented rate. What are your thoughts on how this might reshape traditional learning paradigms? You're absolutely right. The pace of change is staggering. I believe we're on the cusp of a major shift in how we conceptualize education as a whole. One area that particularly excites me is the potential for personalized learning pathways. With advancements in AI and machine learning, we're seeing platforms that can adapt in real time to a student's progress and learning style. That's an intriguing point. While I... So what I would change here, I would more diversity. I would, I would probably replace these two voices by other ones. You can easily do that. Let's change. Shimmer voice uh, by by
my other voices. Hi, how are you? If you Hi, how are you? If you like my voice, you can use it to convert your Hi, how are you? If you like my voice. Let's go with height. And for this one, we can choose I'm choosing multilingual, but you can go with any. Hi, how are you? If you like my voice, you can. You can choose any voice you like. Okay, uh, let's click play and listen how it sounds now. Okay, conversion has been completed. Let's listen a few lines. Uh, so we changed uh, Shimmer and Fable. Shimmer. Absolutely. In fact, that's one of the reasons why we're exploring offline capable components in our system. That's a step in the right direction, certainly. But I worry it might not be enough. We need to be thinking about systemic solutions, perhaps partnerships between educational institutions and internet service providers, or government initiatives to expand broadband access. Okay, at least now they are distinct, they're different. Before, before they sound quite similar. But this is something you can play with. Now you can, when you're satisfied, when you're happy with um, voiceover, with this dialogue, choose how you want to download it as MP3 or WAV format, as one file or by paragraph. By paragraph means that each line will be in a separate file. It's good if you want to replace them on a timeline when you create a video. But in most cases, um, one file should be good enough. You can also download text if you want. Now, let's go, let's go to fun part, scene creator. So let's say that you want to create an image which will support this dialogue. You can describe on a, what you want to see on that image or you can go to click on this button ideas and check suggestions which were created based on text of the dialogue a diverse group of indicators huddle around a glowing holographic display ancient library transformed by technology young students face illuminated by tablet glow global virtual classroom vr headset let's go with ancient library transformed by technology and choose uh, aspect ratio maybe square and create an image once image is created you can use it to create video clips in that case uh, you you will just animate that image or or if you decide that you need another image uh, you can you can go back to to this uh, step and create another image which would work better for you okay so This is an image, uh, ancient library transformed. Yeah, not sure, maybe, but um, probably I would, I would try. I would give it another try. You say, maybe it's best when you have a character, a hero, on on your image. Young student face, eliminated by a tablet glow, determination in eyes, surrounded by swirling air, air, air visualizations of complex concepts. Uh, let's go with a 16 to 9 this time and see uh, what, what we get, what we will get this time. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah, this image is better for, for me. But you see, it, it's, it's quite a fast process. Usually, an image will be created within 20 seconds. If you want to create a video from that image, it will take a little bit longer, maybe up to eight minutes. And I can show you how that video will look like. Let's say that you created, you created this image for language learning lesson, how to order food in a restaurant. And then you decided to create animated version. Here we go. So this is static image and this is animated version. This is static image and animation. Okay. Um, so we created visual. You can, you can find all the visuals here and download any image or video which you created. But let's go back to dialogues and see what else you can do here. If you decide to um, um, add some text to this dialog, uh, let's say that you want to transcribe file and pull text from, from that media, you can do it right inside Dialogs AI. You can transcribe file or a YouTube or scrape text from web pages. But um, this is something that um, you might be interested in. It's a SKI, SKI tool where you can analyze text from this project. So let's say that you want to write a summary of this text. Just click and you'll get summary. Want you if you want to translate text to other languages, you can also do it here. I hope this explains how you can create dialogues in Cucurella. Um, yeah, if you uh, create actors, if you want to add more actors, you can do it here. This tool allows you to create new actor. Here uh, you can choose voice. Maybe you want to choose. Uh, different accent let's say french accent salut salut and then you you can sign that voice to some paragraphs let's say that you want to change this um, this actor. That's it. Okay, so we created dialogue, we created image. I showed you how you can use Ask AI to analyze text, to summarize or translate. Last thing is labels. So this is helpful tool if you want, if you have hundreds of projects, some um, dozens of dialogues, and you want to organize them somehow. Just create a label. Let's call it future of education. And then when you go to dialogues and click on future of education label you will see this project or and or any other project which you which is tagged with this label this helps you to organize all your files because when you have thousands of them it could be cluttered okay hope this helps and now you better now understand how to uh, use dialogue AI in Cucurella. if you have any questions 
please let us know send the mail to kukaralu.com or just use this chat and we will answer any questions you have thanks for watching have a great day bye